Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We reflect on the 18th Sunday in the ordinary time. The Word of God tells us of divine providence. And that the responsible psalm for this Sunday expresses what providence of God is. The hand of the Lord feeds us. The readings that we have today expresses this feeling of God for His people. The first reading, Prophet Isaiah, the Word of God, inviting His people, Come, you who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come, drink. So, God wants to feed His people. God wants to support His people. In the Gospel, beautiful indeed that this feeding of God's people happened. The Lord Jesus Christ multiplied the few loaves and also fish and this was given to the crowd and thousands were fed. So here we are being given that indeed God provides for His people. Of course during this time, we would know that the multiplication of the loaves and feeding the people is a prefiguration. And Jesus is preparing His people of the teachings and of the truth that He is the true bread that we have to seek. He is the bread of life. But for this Sunday, with this theme of divine providence, how do we understand and appreciate divine providence? Divine providence comes to us through many people, through the people around us. We are interconnected. We give help to each other. The providence of God is reflected by people who help others. The providence of God is reflected by those who are generous, by those who are charitable, by those who extend their hand, hands to help others. By God's providence, we become interconnected. We, we become interdependent on each other. And this is how God wants us, because we are family. We are His children. The second, God's divine providence comes to us or presented to us in that God provides for our needs both our bodily needs as well as spiritual needs. God taking care of our bodily well-being as well as our spiritual well-being. And God eh, would like to save the integral person. That's divine providence. The third also in the expression of divine providence in our life is that Divine providence is daily. Divine providence is every moment. And that is why this is expressed in our prayer of the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. The second half we say, give us this day our daily bread. So there is no moment in time in our life that God doesn't provide. The sustenance of our existence comes from His divine providence. We exist because God wants us to exist, because God provides for our existence. It's daily and it's in every moment. And the last thing is, divine providence also comes to us or is expressed to us, and we experience divine providence by multiplying what we have. God gives us good health, in order to work and when we work whatever small or little or something that we work he blesses it much like in the in the gospel there was only few loaves of bread and a few fish and then the god multiplied it there is a saying and we all know god helps those who help themselves divine providence. In these four ways of seeing the divine providence, 
we can understand that indeed God loves us. And there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God. This is what the second reading is telling us. Jesus loves us. He redeemed us and reconciled us to the Father. This is the great love of God. And so there is nothing that will separate us from the love of God. There is nothing, nobody that can impede us, hinder us in this relationship of love of God. That is why He provides for us. But at the same time now, two things we should remember and consider in response to the Word of God we have for this Sunday. First, we must always be grateful of God's providence. And in being grateful, we become as well provident to others. God is generous to us, we become generous to others. God provides for us so that we can also provide for each other. The interdependence, this is what pleases God. This is our expression of our gratefulness to divine providence. The second is this. We always have to bear in mind that we are dependent on God. We can never claim independence from God. We are dependent on God. We can do nothing without God. We have to be reminded of that. So that as we are always mindful of God's divine providence, we are mindful as well of how we live our life. And we live our life knowing that God loves us. And knowing that of His love and of His divine providence, we can live our life to the fullest. And in this life, though we'll be, be in the midst of many trials and troubles and problems, we can still smile because we know that God always provides. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe if you have not done so, and continue to stay tuned and follow us as we have other reflections and videos for adult faith formation and spiritual life. God bless.